Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about the conservation of energy and we're going to make a little foldable to go along with that. So grab your handy sheet of paper. First thing we're going to do is we're going to fold this in sort of a, what do you call it, a pamphlet style. So we're going to fold this one up and this one down so it's like a brochure that you might read or if you were going to stuff it in an envelope. Uh, and then we're going to cut it, okay? Um, so if you don't have a lot of overlap here, or if you have a lot of overlap here where you don't have very much of a space right here between your folded edge and knot, I'm going to trim that off. I should have cut that a little first, folded that a little bit less. But I want to put some words there and I want to be able to see them. So, so now I've cut that off a little bit. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one in half all the way over to that edge. And so I've got two flaps there. And I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to kind of remember where that edge is, and I'm going to fold it like this. So I'm going, to, I'm going to make two more flaps here. First, I'm going to fold it right there where it matches. So, so I've got two matching flaps there. And then I'm going to cut this one in half, and I'm going to cut this one in half because there's going to be two things under each of those. So, so when you've got it closed, you've got enough, you can write some information there, and then you've got some stuff here uh, and these covering flaps on top. Okay, so... Here's what we're going to write on our foldable. First off, we're talking about the law of conservation of energy. So I'm going to write that across the top here. The law of conservation of energy says that energy, and then I'm going to put uh, dot, dot, dot. Wow, I had just enough room there. The law of conservation of energy says that energy dot dot dot. Now, there, there, it says it can be, you can do a couple of things with it, and then you can't uh, do a couple of other things with it. So we're going to put those there. So what, what it can do, we're going to put under these two flaps, and what it can't do, we're going to put over there. Okay, so, so we're kind of organizing the information here. So on the can be side, it can be transferred or transformed. So those words, they both start with a trans part here. We can transfer it and we can transform it. And this is can, so if you need to remember that, put can up here. It can be transferred and it can be transformed. It can't be those other things, okay? So what does it mean to be transferred? Well, that's when uh, what happens when it's transferred is energy goes from one object to another. So in that Newton's cradle, uh, when you pull one ball up, the energy goes from one ball to the other ball. That's transferring the energy. So that's one thing that energy can do. It can also transform. And when energy transforms, what happens is uh, energy changes from one type to another. So a while back you made an energy foldable, all those different types of energies. You can go from one to another to a bunch of different other kinds of energy. So that's what you can do with energy. You can transfer it, you can transform it. Now what can you not do with energy? Well, it can't be created or destroyed. It can't be created or destroyed. So if you need to remember, this was can, these are can't. What can't you do with energy? You can't create it or destroy it. So when we say create it, that means, uh, whoops, create it. When you can't create it, you can't gain energy. Energy must come from somewhere. So if you find that you have gained some energy, it's not because you just, poof, there's some energy. No, it came from somewhere. Somewhere there was another object that lost it, okay? Or there was another energy that's not there anymore because it turned into that other kind of energy. It either came from an object or another energy. So it either transferred or transformed. Now, you can't destroy it, same idea. Energy must come from somewhere. Energy must 
go somewhere. So if you find that you have less energy than you were expecting, that means it's gone somewhere. Maybe it went to another object, object, or maybe it went to another type of energy. It's still there. You didn't destroy it. It's not gone. We because you can't you can't destroy it, but it's somewhere else. It went somewhere else. So energy comes from somewhere, energy goes somewhere. You can't create it, you can't destroy it. So now you know what you can do and what you can't do with energy. Now paste that into your handy packet. Thanks.